Hey guys, I'm Wyatt Dimmeline, the cowboy artist. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Miranda Lambert pencil. And um, just a quick way to draw people. Um, this is kind of new for me, and I, I got to give credit to Art of Way, the YouTuber. I saw him do it, and I thought I'd try it out for a video. And uh, I'll see how it goes. So yeah, let's get into it. So I start out by drawing a cross. And I do that because her face is straight. It would be slanted if her face was tilted. But uh, it's straight because her face is straight. And then I start out by just sketching her eyes. And um, one thing when you draw eyes that is true for almost anybody is the other eye is exactly one eye length away from the first eye and um yeah so that's how that is <laughs> the next thing I do is I um I look at the picture and I see that the corners of her nose line up perfectly with the corners of her eyes so I just make marks guessing where I think her nose might be and it's just a complete guess and I'll probably erase it but it's just nice to have for a starting point and after that I just sketch her eyebrow eyebrows just to have them in there and, um, I want to point out that almost every single picture that I do, when it's in the beginning stages, it's going to look like crap. And it looks like crap almost all the way to the end. But there is a turning point where you can start visualizing it. But I think that beginning stage where it looks like crap, um, tends to scare a lot of people away. Um, when really, if they just worked a little bit harder, they might come out with something they really like. So I just wanted to point that out. Alright, so I do things randomly. Um, most of the time, I never do a draw in the same order as what I did before. So I'm going to do like a little bit of trying to figure out the shape of her trying to draw the shape of her face and I'm also gonna try to draw in nose just a quick sketch a light sketch of it because I'm not really sure if that's where I want it yet um one thing I did notice at when I was looking at the picture is it looks like the corners of her mouth line up with her pupils and her eyes so I'm gonna draw I'm going to try to draw her mouth in pretty soon. Um, but yeah, that's this is how sketching goes for me. Is um, It's a lot of visualization. Um, you can kind of... Stepping back and looking at your picture from like a distance. Not like a long distance, but like... Farther than what you're looking at when you're drawing. Can a lot, it can help you really visualize the mistakes you made and tell you how to fix it. So I'm not too worried about mistakes right now. Just having a starting point is the real most important part of the stage that I'm in right now. Um, getting, uh, getting things right would be more in the refined stages later. And um, I'll get into that when I get there. So I'm just going to do a quick rough sketch of uh, the mouth and uh, the shape of her face for the next couple minutes. And um, very rough, very light. I'm just trying to have something there. Um, but while I'm doing that, I'd just like to shout out... Um, one of my subscribers, uh, he comments on every single one of my videos and uh, 
supports my channel and I, I really appreciate him. I also like to shout out all my friends at Scottsdale Community. Um, I think about half of my subscribers came from that college, so I appreciate you guys. So I'm getting close to being done with um, just the beginning stage. And in a few seconds, I'm, prob I'm going to get ready to start adding details. And um, after you add a couple details, it makes visualizing things a little bit easier. So I'll probably get a little bit more accurate of a picture um, in, in the next few minutes. So I really feel like this is a method that pretty much anybody could do. It's not really that hard, it's just visualizing and uh, putting down what, putting down in the paper what you see. Um, it's kind of an easier way to do, to draw like faster, because if you take any of my other videos, almost every single picture I've done took me um, a few hours, um, so I'm just showing you guys something that could help you, um, my phone does not have enough storage to do a real-time video of my other stuff, and I feel like a lot of you guys wouldn't have enough patience to watch that anyways, but, um, yeah, this, this is a nice way. Um, when I'm doing the eye, I, um, I just leave like a little, you look at the, the highlight in her eye and you just go around it and you just make a spot and you go around that spot. And, um, for blue eyes, you just add a little bit of shading, like make it a light shading for the whole eye around the highlight. And a lot of eyes, there's a dark kind of circle around the eye. Um, that's something I, I've noticed a, in a lot of people, but every, everybody's different. So it's always different. Um, but yeah. That's how this one is. Alright, so if you can't tell, I'm pretty much at a point where I'm starting to do my refining. And this is where I really try to get things more accurate. Um, and if it doesn't look like it's in the right place, I'm going to move it. Um, but yeah, this is the part where you start to visualize things a little bit better so after I do like each thing I'm taking like a step back and I'm looking at it and I'm seeing I'm seeing what I like and what I don't like about it and I start to add changes to it um, right now I can see that I've made her face just a little bit too long for what I like so I'm gonna well I'm not sure if I made her face too long but I know I made her nose too long and her mouth is in the wrong spot so I just erase that part and I'll add it again in a second but once I get into the refining I just it's my favorite part so I, I just can't stop but um Due to time, I decided that no matter where I put the nose in the next one, I was going to keep it there. And I I think it's um, they're in the right spot. I think I did pretty well with it. But that's, that's how I do the refining stages. A lot of times, if you take a step back, you can see what you did wrong. But if not, you can ask other people. They'll figure it out. Uh, screwed up proportions are pretty easy to see, um, in my eyes they are, but I've been doing this for a really long time. 
So I start adding the nose back in here, and I also work on the other eye there. Um, I pretty much do it the exact same way as I did the other one. And when I did the eyebrows, I just looked at um, the picture and I saw where it was dark. I added it. I made it dark there, and it was pretty easy. Um, these eyes, the eyebrows were really easy to me because they, they're on this picture. They're like right on top of her eyes, um, with no gap, and that made it really easy to place them for me. Um, this stage is a stage that you could literally just keep on working on and working on forever. And for me, I I spend a lot of time on the stage. Um, for pretty much everybody, I I cannot stop working on the refined stage. That's why my uh, pictures take so long. And um, I'm not gonna be getting into the hair on how to do that. Um, you'll be seeing me do a little bit of the sketching for the hair, but. Um, that would take me another 30 minutes just to do the hair. Um, I don't have a quick way of doing that. Uh, but the face is the most important part. Um, the darks are the mo the darks and the lights are the most important part after you get your sketches your sketches in. Um, they're really what make it pop. Um, my pencil was a HB, a lighter pencil, so I I didn't get the darks like I probably probably should use a darker pencil, but this is what I had in front of me, so I used it. Um, but yeah, the, the refining stage you could literally. I don't think there's ever been a uh, picture I did where I I was actually done with refining it. It was, I just got tired of refining it, and that's when I was finished. It takes a lot of patience, um, and for some people that that means that they, they can't do it. But I have a lot of patience, so that makes me good at this stage. So I'm getting into shading at this point, and... Um, I just look at the picture, and as you can see, um, there's no real solid lines on her nose, so shading is what makes her nose stick out in the middle, so I use a little bit of shading there, and like, on the outside of her face, there's, it's darker, so I shade that, if you, if you just look at the picture, um, it's always different, but it's always uh, just wherever the lighting is coming from, and it looks like there's lighting straight on, um, on her. So like everything in the middle is gonna have light in it, and on the outsides it's gonna be darker. Um, yeah, it's it's different for every picture. Um, you just gotta be ready for it. Um, a lot of people it would help to have the picture in black and white since I'm draw since you're drawing it in black and white it just makes things easier I thought it would be better for you guys if I had the picture regular I could do it either way it didn't really matter to me but um, that would be helpful for you guys um, and just for whoever you want to draw so I'm putting the mouth in right now, and um, it's kind of like a rule for almost anybody at any time. Not all the time, but almost at any time. The top lip is going to be darker than the bottom lip. Um, the top lip is usually pretty dark, because the bottom lip is where the light is hitting, and the top lip is angled down, uh, not getting as much light. So that's, that's why, um, a lot of times there's a few highlights in the upper lip too, but in this picture I couldn't really see any, so I just made it pretty much all dark. 
Um, another thing I was going to say is, like, if you make the picture black and white, also upping the contrast, making the darks darker, making the lights lighter, that really helps, too. Um, those are a few really helpful things that I, I did a lot when I was first drawing that really helped me out. And if you want to try this, it would probably really help you out, too. Um, so just keep that in mind. One thing I like to point out is that um, I'm doing a voiceover and uh, the recording button and the stop button are like covering up what the video is showing so I can't see what I'm doing. So if I make uh, any mistakes with timing on what I say, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, I wish I knew how to fix that so I could be talking exactly what I'm doing, but, you know, uh, I'm not very good with the technology, so, um, a few things that I, I'm going to point out, um, it looks pretty rough right now, um, and when I do what I, what I'm about to say how to do, I do not have the thing recording, but I did not change anything from the actual sketch. When you get to this point and you have everything uh, drawn out, uh, it's pretty easy. You just got to keep adding the shading and everything. A lot of times uh, you got to go over your darks a ton of times and you got to erase where your lights are a few times just to make things pop out a little bit better. But uh, I smoothed all the shading out with, well, I use my finger, but you could use a blending stump, a napkin, your finger, a paintbrush. Um, anything that can smooth it out will work. And um, yeah, that's how, that's how you blend it out. Um, I do a lot of, Adding the dark, adding the darks and the lights, that's probably the most important part once you get to this stage. But a lot of times it will get messed up as you're adding other stuff, so you gotta keep going over. That's why you gotta keep going over it. Or if you accidentally make something darker than you wanted to, you gotta fix everything else to make make the uh, everything else darker than what you wanted that to be to make that look right especially if you can't erase it that's how you that's how you would get around that problem a lot of problems that you can do uh can be fixed pretty easily so don't worry about messing up and if you do i mean it's just it's just half an hour of drawing so just start again um when I was drawing growing up, a lot of times it took take me like 20 tries, so uh, don't let a failure uh, make you quit. Just keep trying. Alright, so right around this point, you can kind of see who it is. This is a, uh, one of the turning points that I was talking about earlier in the video. And, I mean, at least for me, as being being doing this for as long as I have, I can see that, I can see the picture develop. A lot of people just, they would need the hair in there to be able to tell that it's her. Um, but, because hair makes a big difference. I mean, hair can make somebody, if you change the color of the hair, it can make somebody look totally different. Um... You, you probably wouldn't even be able to recognize her if it was like black hair or something but um yeah i i can see it and uh even if you don't get it completely accurate uh, if you follow the steps and you don't have like complete proportion errors you should have something that looks, that looks okay. And you don't have to tell people that you tried to draw Miranda Lambert. You can just say it's some random girl if it doesn't look like her. But, yeah. 
And if if not, if you don't like it, you can just try again. There's no shame in it. At this point, a lot of people might just say they're done with the face and move on. But like I said, I I take forever on the frightening stage. Um, I just can't stop. Once I start on, on refining, I can't get myself to stop. But when I do stop, I can't get myself to start again. <laughs> It's kind of weird how that works, but that's how that's how I draw. And um, I'm gonna say that uh, the camera is at kind of an angle; it's not exactly straight on, so that the face I pretty much don't change anything on it from from here on out. Like the most the important lines, like the shape and her nose and their eyes and everything, I keep that all the same. Everything I do now is just adding darks and lights. So I said before that when I smooth this out after the video's over, and uh, I show you the picture of it, um, I use my finger, but it's not a smart idea for me or anybody to use their finger. I did it just because I wanted to get, I wanted to finish it. I was, I was just trying to finish it fast. But if you use your finger, um, just know that the oil on your finger or your hand will um, make it hard, harder to erase whatever you smoothen out. And also, um, if you're using a blending stump or any other thing, um, the graphite that gets on it if you use that exact same spot on it or without cleaning it or using a clean spot for your next shading, it might get some some uh, graphite on that spot too. So just be careful with that. Um, graphite's very messy, so. But it's easy to work with. Um, it's way faster than doing colored pencil, that's for sure. So, if you don't have the patience for this, you would definitely not make it with colored pencils. So, I'm about done with everything I'm going to show you how to do. Um, I'll tell you a little bit of how to do the hair. Um, the most important thing with hair, which I didn't really do here because I was just trying to get it done as fast as I could. I was kind of timing myself and I was going over the time. But, uh... You just want to go with with the hair. Make streaks that go with the hair. Um, try drawing individual locks. Um, and look at the shadows. Hair, hair is pretty easy to do. It just it's pretty time consuming. Um, but yeah, this is that's how you draw Miranda Lambert. And uh, you can use the same method to draw pretty much anybody you want. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I did because I, I made this video a lot faster than pretty much any of my other videos. And I think a lot of you guys could get a few tips out of this. So uh, I hope I can help you. And uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see how to do anything specific. And uh, I'll see what I can do for you. Um, have a great day, guys. And uh, it was good talking to you.